I grabbed an old window and transformed it. I started by cutting up a palette, removing the boards and hammering all the nails out. I gave them a light sand and trimmed them to length to make a square frame the same size as the window. I used my Craig jig to make two pocket holes. I cut and sanded three more boards to fit the inside width and used pocket holes to secure them to the frame. Sanded the window frame. I taped on either side where the caulking was and applied new white caulk with silicone and wipe smooth. I immediately removed the tape to reveal a clean finish. I attached hinges to secure the window to the pallet frame. I added a glass knob in the middle of the right side of the window. I added a magnet in the top right corner and a screw and washer on the inside top right side of the window for a magnetic closure. I cleaned the glass really well and sprayed soapy water all over the surface and applied a window cling that makes it look like stained glass. I attached a piece of quarter inch plywood with wood glue and brad nails to the back the window that we got from an architectural salvage place, take a ruler and you're gonna measure inside the windows because that's gonna help you decide how big your photos need to be. I took eight by 10 photos and cut them down. First thing I need to do is obviously decide what order I want them in. So I'm gonna start flipping these around. I'm going to tape these in and I'm actually just going to use painter's tape. Now let's talk about putting on hooks. I took my window pane and made sure to clean it and dry it very well. After that, I removed the hardware. I then used a product called Looking Glass. I actually decided to spray the back of the window pane. I purchased some D-rings from the hardware store. So I grabbed an old window at a rummage sale, I cleaned it up, and now I'm just adding a coat of white paint. When the paint dries, you can just go back with a razor blade and scrape off any that's left on the glass. Now I'm gonna grab these little gems. I have them in blue, red, white, and clear. I'm using a really strong glue to attach these marbles to the glass. This is E6000. It's gonna hold these on here super well. The next time you see an old window, be sure to grab it. I picked these flower pots up at the dollar store. I want to add some drain holes in the bottom of these. Next, I want to go ahead and I'm actually going to paint mine and I'm just going to lightly sand this to bring out that pattern. So I'm going to use a water-based top coat here. So I want to place this about where I want it on the window frame. And I'm going to just draw a couple of little dots here because I want to drill some pilot holes just to screw and then I put a little washer on the inside of it just to make sure it's nice and secure. It is time to fill them with some beautiful flowers. I printed off a couple of simple mandala patterns. I'm going to slip it under the glass, pattern side up. I found this set of puffy paint. I'm going to start filling in the pattern. I want to start with the piece of the pattern that are separate from each other. It's time to fill in the remaining sections. Next up is to finish the swirls. I'm going to give it the frame a quick coat of the same turquoise paint. The final thing I need to do to the picture pattern is outline the swirls again. I'm just going to add some clear glue to all of the untouched glass. 